Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are going to explore uh, the software design expert version 11. Design expert software used to design the experiment or in order to minimize the number of experiments, this is the best technique. So anyway, we will start with this uh, new design okay, and we are going to discuss the response surface methodology. Uh, before going further, I am going to take the example of preparation of nanofluids. Okay, so I have two input parameters. Uh, one is the temperature, the other one is the nanoparticle concentration. Okay, uh, the range of temperature is 35 to 55, while nanoparticle concentration is 0 to 0.48 percent. While my response is viscosity, so in other words, I am going to find out the effect of input parameters on my response or viscosity by developing a, a model and then in the later phase I will do the optimization okay to check that or at what condition the viscosity will become the minimum and at what condition it will become maximum. So anyway uh, let's start so I am going to start the I am going to select the central composite okay and as I mentioned we have two input parameters. So, the first parameter is temperature, I am going to use some abbreviation and then concentration, okay, temperature is C, well this one is percentage, uh, we have the temperature range is 25 to 55, okay, and 0 to 0 0.48 is our uh, nanoparticle concentration, oh, sorry, 35 to 55, that is our temperature range. Anyway, uh, the next is uh, we are going to uh, click on this option and in the option I am going to select the face center, okay. Uh, uh, the information and the literature about the center composite face center or even the response surface pathology is uh, easily accessible, it can be uh, find easily. So anyway, uh, we are not going to uh, go into very deep detail uh, about the theory. So we are going to go to the next phase once our uh, input parameter is selected and ranges are uh, I mean uh, inserted. So the next is we are going to select the response. Here we have only one response but it could be couple of response we can have okay. So we have a viscosity so we can write a viscosity here okay. So, our unit of viscosity and now uh, we are going to uh, click the finish button. Once we click the finish, it will give us a one matrix, okay, as you can see here, okay. So, we need to actually conduct the experiment and we need to put the response one or viscosity here, okay. That will be our uh, results from the experimental data. As of now, as you can see, I have actually uh, have this result, but the only thing with this table and this table, I just need to rearrange this table, okay. Okay, so we need to fill up uh, this uh, table, so I just uh, copy and paste these values here, okay. So now our uh, table is finished so now we are going to move to the analysis part okay so in this analysis part okay there are uh, first we need to select the model type that which can which can which type of model should we select okay so uh, here uh, we can see there's a uh, many models are available okay so the software selected based on the provided data quadratic model okay and uh, the interaction between some parameter is also there as you can see here. So anyway, we are going to move to the results of the model, okay. So this step is actually the model development, okay. As you can see here, uh, this is our actual equation of this model, okay, where uh, 87 plus 87.2 is our intercept temperature is A, I mean this temperature is T, concentration, okay, and these are the coefficient of our model, okay, we can write down this in the coded equation as well, okay, and we can write down this in the coefficient, 
where uh, the software selected temperature A and concentration B. Uh, the other uh, term which is A, B which is the introduction between the two input parameters is already there, is also there and also the both square of temperature and concentration concentration is also included. So, it will become a single equation. Okay. The next thing is uh, diagnostic. There are a couple of uh, tests uh, available uh, which we can check whether this model is uh, significant okay, and uh, whether this model is accurate or not. Okay. So, even uh, uh, and also the detail about these tests can be found. Okay. So, the next is the model graphs. Okay. Uh, the model graphs is uh, there a uh, couple of type of graphs are available. Let us uh, we select this uh, as of now this is a contour ok this is uh, already selected ok. Now we can select the 3D surface. So, this 3D surface uh, is between temperature concentration and viscosity ok. We can I mean rotate this graph by clicking and dragging ok whatever the view you like ok. So, once it is done, okay, so we actually uh, got our model equation, we got our graphs okay, and some other uh, like uh, interaction parameters okay, uh, between our uh, both input parameter, okay, then the predictive and actual. Okay. So, as you can see this is, uh, this is a very uh, uh, accurate model okay which is developed by rsm okay we can see uh, model comparison okay we can also <coughs> we can see our uh, uh, predicted and actual values both here okay in the report okay So, that was uh, involved the model development. The next is the optimization. We are going to get, uh, we are going to discuss the numerical optimization. So, our input parameter okay, and the response. So, we are going to keep our temperature and concentration which are input parameter within the range okay. and first our target is to maximize uh, sorry minimize the viscosity. So, for viscosity we are going to select the minimize okay. and now once our uh, criteria is selected a goal is selected then we can go for the solution ok. So, as you can see there are uh, 8 solution found for this optimization case and the best selected where the desirability is high ok is the solution where we have the temperature 55 and viscosity uh, concentration 0. I mean there will be only our base fluid so the viscosity will be at 18.78 ok. So, uh, this is just for the sake of like understanding how this software work. Of course, if we increase, uh, if we add uh, more parameters or more response, it will become a uh, different story. So, the second thing is uh, we can get, okay, the first solution can be uh, obtained in a report in the RAM function, okay, is the graphical this will be representation of the solution, okay while the viscosity is minimization. So, you can slope, you can see the slope here both temperature and concentration are in the range. Okay. So, we can get the bar graph okay, which give us the combined optimization solution as well. Okay. And now, for the graphs okay, for the 3D surface we can get the desirability graph. Okay. So, this desirability graph actually, actually tells us the at what position sorry our desirability is maximum ok at what condition the desirability is maximum as you can see here. So, similarly we can change the criteria from maximize to minimize ok. So, for uh, sorry minimize to maximize ok and then we can get the solution again ok in term of graphical or in terms of ramp ok. So, our min, min, uh, maximum viscosity is 52.5 and at max, maximum viscosity our concentration must be maximum while we can get this one as the at the lower temperature. Okay. So, 
uh, that was uh, a short introduction about the design experiment uh, the, uh, sorry the design expert version 11 and uh, how we can uh, do the how we can generate a model or how you can do the optimization thank you so much